Now we have all we have left to do now is face it off. So facing it off so brings in some more difficulties here. So we'll, let's go to our, or if not face it off, cut it off. Facing, cutting it off, parting it off um, creates um, some more difficulties because we, it's asking for me to select a cutoff boundary point. And the only thing it really that it's allowing me to choose is the circle. And if I do that, just pick a tool here. Let's if we pick a tool here, we can edit it, and we will uh, change the width of the tool to point two. And the overall length of E is actually 0.75 on our long tools. And I don't care about any of that. And we want feed rate of 4. Constant service seat. I want to go with fixed RPM, 500 RPM for parting it off. And that's OK. Part off is our comment. Part off, stock update, cutoff parameters. Here's some some nice things. We can actually create a chamfer. So we can set our chamfer at 30 thou. Okay, and we can also do a clearance cut, so like a pre-groove. Um, there's parameters for that, but we'll just go with the default, that's fine. And go in and out, and so it's starting there. So the problem is, is with the geometry, it doesn't like anything other than you know, if I rotate my part, it's not really allowing me to pick what I need. So you can see we still end up with this problem. So the workaround is actually to create a wireframe on um, a, a wireframe line on the end of the part. So if we go to the right hand or left hand view, so go to the left view of the part, and we want to create a. Well, you'll also see that the tool path is there on our left. So um, I'm going to continue with that there on the left view. I'm going to go with a wireframe. And I'm going to create a, a line there. And I'm going to create a point. Uh, at the end of that line. What actually what I have to do now, I remember now. So I've create create a line, just a just draw an extended line. And then if I click F4 to analyze that line, I can select it. The diameter there is um, minus, um, what was it, minus, no, 2.45, I think, F4. The diameter was 2.45. Where is my line? So. 2.45 divided by 2 1.45 divided by 2 so we can we can actually adjust the length of that line like that and then we can create a point at the end of our line now, if we go back to view, go back to our top view, 
And you can see we've got a point there. That line did not end up where I wanted it. F4. Point five. Yeah. F four. There's two point five. There we go. Okay, so now we can pick that as our geometry point and then regenerate it. And voila, we have it. Let's go to top view, and you can see that it didn't part it off all the way. Maybe, oh yeah. Doo, doo, doo. Oh, the other end of our line is over there, though. So F4. And maybe it'll be fine. Let's see what happens here. Let's just back plot that one. It's all good, right? Okay, so select all, and let's look at it in verify. View, ISO. Good.